folks, a very special welcome from BNN TV. Very special welcome to all of you who are watching us right here on Comcast. Well, Jim Sayer and myself are bringing you another show, but this show is going to be a little bit different. For the last month in 2014, where did this year go? Last month of 2014, and a special show because it's a Christmas show. It's a quasi-Christmas show. We have a very special, well, we have two, three guests tonight, as a matter of fact. Jim and I are going to be welcoming Adam Trudeau. Adam, welcome to the program. A pleasure to be here, John. And we have Frankie and Chris from the Pizza Makers. And that's a special web series. We're going to talk all about that when we get back. But Adam, welcome to the program. Happy to be here. And as I mentioned, Jim and I are doing a, a special Christmas program tonight. Tell us a little about yourself and what you're going to do. Well, I'm a guitarist and a pianist from uh, Bellingham, Mass. And I work uh, near Boston. I work in Hingham as a music director for a church and usually work for a few churches. I teach guitar and piano in Northborough. I direct theater groups. Um, that fits in with the theme of our show, that's for sure. Yes, and uh, I just love music. I, I play gigs, I'm in groups, I have a string group, I have an acapella group uh, that, that I run, and uh, it's just a blast. Everything. So what are, we gonna, what are we gonna open up our show with tonight? Well, I couldn't pick one song, John, so I figured why not do just a mashup of my favorite Christmas songs. A plethora of many pro songs, is that right? Yeah. On the guitar or on the keyboard? On the guitar. So when we come back, at the end of the show, we'll pick up the keyboard. I'd be glad to. All right, Adam Trudell, right here on BNN. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. Have a holly jolly Christmas, it's the best time of the year. Well, I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and if you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. It's a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet, jingling around the clock. Mix and mingle with the jingling feet, that's the jingle bell rock. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Blitzen and Vixen and all the reindeer pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. Hang your stockings, say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hang your stock and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. That was Adam Trudell, right here on BNN. A very special welcome to Adam and a very special welcome to our guests, Frank and Chris. Chris Palermo. And yes, Frank and Bergamo. and Bergamo, and of course my co-host Jim, John Jim Sayer. Jim, welcome. Thought we'd start a little different tonight <laughs> on our last show of 2014. Right. A little music, a little music getting our Christmas show started. We're in the mood now. That was a nice idea. What's, go, what's going on? Well, they're filming uh, The Bleed for us. Still filming that in right. uh, Rhode Island. And uh, we, we, I think I worked it last week in yeah. stuff. Twin City, I worked it up there in Rhode Island. And it's going to be, they're working tonight. They work last night. They're shooting overnight down there in Chatham right now. And right now, I think the movies are going to be coming in February. And he's David O. Russell. Joy. Two movies yeah. he's done here already. Yeah. This is going to be his third. The Fighter was 
few years well. ago. We worked yep. in that. Yeah, yeah. and so. now he's going to have be here for Joy, and that's coming in uh, February. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Matt Damon is making his presence felt in this uh, part of the woods. Mm -hmm. He'll be here in March. Wow. Oh, so all sorts of things happening. That's right. And all sorts of things happening on the, on the Internet. Not only is our show on the Internet, mm -hmm. thanks mm -hmm. to Ted Lewis, but you two guys are on the Internet, too, on a yeah. web series. Is that right? <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Frank and... Uh, makers, yeah. yeah, we're burning up the Internet. I don't Frank know if there's Chris. enough server space to hold us <laughs> on the Internet. Well, now, we're going to talk a little about that because you are not only in this web series that we're going to talk about, but you do all sorts of other things, too. That's correct, yeah. Cool. We do... Well, actually, I've worked on all the movies with both Chris and... Right. Jim, yeah. and uh, we did like American Hustle, the Fighter, The Town, mm -hmm. all, a lot of movies, mm -hmm. about maybe 30, 35 movies in the last maybe like six or seven years. And we do the Pizza Makers webisode series, me and Chris, we did uh, nine, episode nine recently. And I also write a, I wrote a cookbook, and I was on Emerald Live after yeah. winning a big contest on the Food mm -hmm. Network. I've seen and pictures I, of you. And I write, right, yeah, and I write the a food column, yeah. the Medford That's transcript right. as That's well. Right. Yeah. And what they do is they come to my house, I, I make a recipe, I cook live, then I write a story about that. And, then and they I eat it put, live. And then they put it in my <laughs> column. And, uh, and then Chris comes over and he tests the meatballs. You know, his <laughs> meatballs, this is quite a story. I'll tell you, can I tell you mm -hmm, how sure. authentic his meatballs are? First time I went over Frankie's house in Medford, right, you know, I ate his meatballs. It was almost a religious experience. I said, Frankie, your father's meatballs taste like my father's meatballs, which is a an honor because yes, my right, father's yeah. from Palermo, Sicily. We've mm -hmm. owned all kind of restaurants. Right. Wasn't that amazing? It, no, his yeah. recipe. Right. I was going to yeah. say because yeah. of the recipes based on and certain region. generations and regions. Yeah. And I said these it's, are very familiar yeah. meatballs, and it's been a bond. That's, ever. And I said that's yeah. it. We got to work together. That's great. <laughs> so, uh, do you get much? Uh, peop many people watch this ep the the webisode. Oh, a lot of people. Yeah, we have yeah. Uh, we have a lot of exposure. We've been in like the Boston Herald, the Inside mm -hmm. Track. Yeah. We've been in the Imagine News a couple times. We've been, Chris has been uh, on, me and Chris ourselves been on many, many cable stations as well. Now, is that how it and, got started? And also radio. But by the meatballs yeah. got started to the pizza? Or it did? Was, well, I had, uh, you know, you guys are SAG members. We're at a Screen Actors Guild uh, mm -hmm. meeting. And I saw Frankie and, and uh, one of our other actors. And I said, you know what, guys? There's something um, brewing where I'm going to put you two guys in a, um, basically pizza makers is, I like to say it's like the chairs of um, like Boston pizza places. Right. Bunch of characters, they kind of convene in one area. Mm -hmm. um, and you know what, the stuff writes itself when, when Frankie and I get on the phone with each other, mm -hmm. it just kind of writes yeah, itself. It's, it's, a, it's a comedy. It's Absolutely. A, yeah. uh, and I, I you know, got to give a shout out to uh, Laura Pizzuti who's been with us from the start. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, our third main character there. Right. And, uh, she's been on the program. Yep. yep. Oh, she has. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's okay. So um, we're going three, three and a half years now, and um, I think what a real testament of the show is um, actors that approach me that mm -hmm. I can't keep up with that want to be on the show. Oh, yeah. I'm flattered. Yeah. People write scenarios where they want to be involved with Frankie. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them I can't mention I on the air. No, no. Uh, but we would make for good TV. We wa I, like I've watched them and stuff like, and I know you use a lot <coughs> of the actors we work with all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And stuff, and it's, it seems to me that they're just being themselves. They're not acting. They're right. just being themselves. Yeah, and I think and that's, that's why it, it translates so well right. and so yeah. real. And, and I'll tell you what, Jimmy, the reason, one of the reasons, John, to get back to why I started it, to give actors, because, you know, Listen, we've all done background work. I've been mm -hmm. in 42 movies, and I've mastered man crossing the street carrying yeah. a sausage by this point. You know, right. So I want to give some local actors some meat, some tape, right. some, some right. lines. That's right. Um, so we can go to a casting director and say... And we've been, Jim and I have been pushing that on this show, too. Yeah. Absolutely. And we do, and it's under a Screen Actors Guild contract, yeah. um, mm -hmm. which elevates it, I believe. Oh, yeah. And uh, nothing against non-union people, but... Um, I love to use union people. Their experience. So where do you where do you actually film? Various places, and, and Frankie um, has secured uh, many uh, locations, and we've been so lucky to get like Pizzeria Regina, Pizza Regina, mm -hmm. uh, Donuts, Pacelli's restaurant, Pacelli several times. Um, uh, we've had a lot of <laughs> luck with locations, yeah. and uh, well, that's what you need. You need they help. They us back too. They're you know? to come back. They, they it's good PR for them too. Yeah, exactly yeah. Right. It's really it's been it's been a good time. 